Hey guys, in the last video, we talked about reading a push button. The thing is, is that your PicMaker controller moves really fast. So much so that sometimes when you try to read a push button with your PicMaker controller, what ends up happening is that noisy contacts on the switch may cause the Maker controller to register several presses of your push button when in actuality you only intended to push the button once. To alleviate this problem, we introduce the principle of debouncing. When you debounce a switch, what you are essentially doing is discarding any noise that may be input into your system due to the mechanical deficiencies of the switch. You can do a lot of things to debounce your system, such as using an RC connection, which will aid in suppressing the bounce of the circuit. You can also do things like using a Smith trigger debunk circuit which can aid in alleviating the problem. However, the preferred way of doing debouncing, just like with everything else these days, is to use a software solution whenever possible. This will not only help simplify design, but it can aid in making your bit of material score smaller. So, the debunks algorithm outside this. We check to see that our push button is pressed. Once it is pressed, we wait a short period of time, then we check again to ensure that it was in fact pressed. And just like that, your switch is debunked. If we look closely at our bistable multivibrator program, we'll see that the transition from one state to another is not smooth. And when we add the debunking into the software, our problem is fixed. There's one other thing I wanted to discuss with you before we move forward. That is the read, modify, write issue with PicMaker controller devices. Now, when you're trying to determine the state of a pin, it's important to write to the port latch register and read from the port register. This is because the PicMaker controllers use what is known as a read, modify, write sequence in order to change the state of a pins. According to the type of load they have attached micro controller pins, particularly capacitive loads, the pin may fail to go into a high state even though we wanted to set the bit high. This is a very real problem that I have personal experience. For this reason, you must remember to modify the port latch register when you are doing outputs and you can read the state of the pin using the port register. It will save you some headache from a very esoteric problem from the eyes of someone now getting started with PicMaker controllers. So that's all I want to talk to you about. This is a very short video. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe.